I'm Daniel Watkins and welcome to my world. And this is part two of our trip to the Philippines. Day two was pretty much just a chill day for us. Uh, the cable comp was on, so uh, we just sat around, sampled the local brew and, and relaxed and watched the cable rats rip it apart. Welcome, welcome to everyone. I would like to tell you all how the West was won. First we take the cool, which could be anything nice. A good looking girl or some swell at night. Next up is the bad, like a big bad wolf. And when it's going down, I wouldn't wear a red hood. But last is the worst, for when it gets ugly. Talking lies, taking bras, I can't see Kanye, but it's great. Cause there's some struggle in the burbs. Between the lines is blurred as you listen for my reverb. But Polly's pumping more spin, the Shane warns leggies. They're talking more shit than Dennis Kermitty. No confetti, cause this is just a marriage of some words. It's a case of something new and some shit you've never heard Take the bad with the good, with the easy and the hard Just an individual in the system trying to stun guard Drunk chicks trying to hunt me, pricks trying to mug me I take the good with the bad and the ugly Trust me, don't rush me I take the good with the bad and the ugly Yeah, I'm on cue, need to introduce verse 2 Coppin' to the mic, that I despair, sure I infect you With a lyrical, a lyrical assault The record's no weapon, a ribicule of body Potatoes, no salt my certain was a high, but it's not my fault It's the tracks we reject, that makes the tracks we accept The best like John West It's all beats, face taste Cause it's good beats, bad beats Fucked up beats, send you to sleep I'll get you out of your seats Good meat's bad, meat's ugly And a mixed bag moves steadily Easily, readily comes the quick melody Cuts a razor sharp, should be a felony A paradigm sh** of my quick wit sticks Cause nothing ticks shit's but loose lips Drunk chicks tryna hug me, pricks tryna mug me I take the good with the bad and the ugly Trust me, don't rush me I take the good with the bad and the ugly I got flows like a god for searching out the ocean floor Like scientific discoveries that the public can't ignore I've got Al Gore spitting an inconvenient truth And with the planet slowly dying it's not enough to say truth Got the wealth, we got the poverty, and then we got the war Most don't give a shit unless it's a footy score But we adore and go for Over the tabloid papers, mass media fed celebs Repeating the same old capers Cause it's about time we came to an understanding For every hero there's a villain But I do my own damn thing demanding We're standing, living life without planning I'm just trying to find a balance without so day three we went downstairs to be waited by a jeepney. Jeepney I guess is the best way to explain it is a bus, for the local bus for the Philippines. You know they fit about a hundred people in these little tiny things. And uh, so we got there, I got to the driver, I was like, shh, shh, driver, get out of here. He, uh, he willingly jumped across and I drove the big girl all the way down to CWC. Definitely the crazy, craziest experience of my life driving. I was so nervous. There was cars and bikes and buses going everywhere and I was just there going, ah! We pick up some passengers. <laughs> so this is my first time in the Philippines. Been, uh, been all over Asia before and ridden mopeds but never driven one of these things. It's a pretty sweet, I think it's a Benz. A bit the same as my buddy Ike's Benz, I guess. He's got a van too. But uh, things I've noticed since driving is it doesn't turn worth a shit. And I can't find the gears. And I'm nervous as hell about all these people on bikes and everything else, but I think so far so good. So this is my first time in the Philippines. I'm Daniel Watkins and welcome to my world. Driving a tuk-tuk. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Australian driver! Do the gears. Yeah, thank you. The one thing I noticed about the Philippines is how hospitable everybody was. Everybody was so friendly and, and nice. And this one day we stopped off at this little group of shops on the way to the site to check some stuff out. And I met up with this, this old guy who had like twisted teeth and no hair. and. He, uh, he was showing me these chicken's feet and all this different stuff that they sell in, the, I guess it might have been the poultry shop, you know. And then he, he was telling me how he wanted to drink some wine. I said, well, I like wine too, let's go and drink some wine. So he took me down the back of the alley over the railway line across the road to this little shop. How much is that bottle? You drink it. For you. And it's for me. Yeah, for you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. you. Huh? Eduardo, it's for you, you're my friend. <laughs> Drink it to the bottom. Here's to Eduardo, he's true blue. 
He's a piss pot through and through. He's a bastard, so they say. He tried to go to heaven, but he went the other way. So scow, 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 come on, scow it down. He said it was a bottle of wine, so I bought it for him. It cost me about 20 cents, and he, he drank it. He was, he was having a great time. Then after further inspection, I realized it was actually rubbing alcohol. It was actually 80 proof rubbing alcohol. So uh, I guess that's how he gets down. And what he got is just a symbol of his grief.